if you're in this course, you're probably thinking segment all the way, all the time, right? Not exactly. It is true that in almost every client project that we tackle on this data practical, we almost always recommend segment, especially if companies are just starting out to lay that analytics foundation, but it's not always the best choice. Now, you should use segment if you kind of fit three criteria. One, you're gonna be using multiple event-driven tools. These are tools like Mixpanel, Amplitude, Intercom, Heap Analytics. Google Analytics supports events, but they're not as flexible or customizable as like Mixpanel or Amplitude. So if you're planning on using those tools at one point or another, then Segment will help you. Now, if you're not familiar with those tools, you might be using them, you, you might be not, but they're really tools designed for tech companies, companies that have product teams, growth teams, and so on. Second, you'll be deploying pixels, like Facebook ad pixels, ad row pixels, adverse pixels, all those kinds of pixels. And some of these advertising tools actually let you send events to it. So you can send events to Facebook, for example, and you can use them as conversions. So if you're gonna be doing this and you don't have Google Tag Manager already, then Segment can also help you there because you'll be able to deploy these pixels in the same way that Tag Manager will let you. And finally, if you wanna store your event data, so these are all your events that users might be doing in your app or your, you know, your website, and you want to store this in a warehouse. So this is Amazon Redshift, BigQuery, Postgres databases, and so on. Segment will help you here too. In the segment world, this is just a destination for data, right? So you can pull it from wherever you're pulling it, your mobile apps, and you can send it to a warehouse, a database. Now, you should not use segment if you, you already have Google Tag Manager installed and your team is using it for pixels. Sometimes I'll come with companies and they have Google Tag Manager and they've been using it for years and the marketing team and the product team, everyone knows how to use it and how to deploy their marketing pixels. If that's the case, no need to change it, right? Segment is gonna be just as easy, but your team already knows how to use Google Tag Manager. So that's a benefit. A second reason why you shouldn't use Segment is if you're not gonna be using event-driven tools, right? Not every company will benefit from using a tool like Mixpanel or Amplitude. Sometimes you'll see companies that don't really need it, right? An example might be maybe an e-commerce company that doesn't really need to know that much, right? They're at a stage where they're still growing and installing an event-driven tool is not gonna help them that much, right? Or maybe you have a services company, like a consulting company, and you're thinking, should I use Mixpanel? Uh, the answer is probably not, right? You, you're not gonna benefit as much from all the different reports reports that are really geared for web and mobile apps. And finally, your team might always be doing something similar to segment. I meet companies, especially much larger companies, you're here you might think 100, 150 employees plus, and they basically implemented their own segment at some point, right? They saw that the issues that segment is here to solve, multiple tools, same data, multiple imp implementations that look very, very similar. And at some point they said, you know, hey, let's just create a way to capture data and send it to different tools. So if that's the case, then moving to segment might just not be worth it, right? You might, you might have an internal version of it already that you can use. So double check with your product team. Now, this is the end of this basic intro where we tackle most pressing questions. In the next section, we're actually gonna dive deep into segment. We're gonna go from the very start, from the sign up, to sources, to destinations, to capturing data and sending data and using it and a bunch of other stuff. So that would be the nitty gritty on how to use it and how to set up common things. And then there's a third section where we're gonna look through some common scenarios that come up. You know, how should you use segment and intercom together? Can you change the widget in intercom? How do you send data to mix panel and so on? So that will give you a, a quick look of how to tackle the most common pairings that people t tend to use segment for. See you in the next section.